I've been through a lot in wrestling, uh, which is fine. You know, everyone goes through a lot. Like, I'm not special. You know what I'm saying? Everyone go. A lot of people have had it worse than me, just in life and in wrestling. Well, you know, I'm an emotional creature. You know what I mean? I wear my heart on my sleeve and stuff. And uh, so one day, uh, I had a couple of drinks. I'm a little bit of a drinker. I slowed down. But I uh, had a couple of drinks, man, and I saw something on, uh, on, on TV. I'm not going to say what company. And it just, uh, it just ripped at my chest, like my soul. Like I was hurting. Because what I saw was just, just wasn't right. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm not going to get into the details because... Uh, I don't want to bury nobody, you know what I'm saying? But uh, people know who they are and, and what's going on, you know what I'm saying? I'm not perfect either, I'm not saying I am, but just that situation and like, I started getting drunker and drunker watching this thing go down and you know, uh, I'm a glutton for punishment. So I went on YouTube and then watched that same thing I didn't like over and over and I just let it eat at me and I'm drinking more and more whiskey and I'm eating at me. So then I just flipped out and I'm a homeowner now so like, if anything happens in the house, it's on me. You know, what, you know what I'm saying? So I just flipped out and I took the bottle of Jameson, empty bottle, broke it against the wall and I started putting holes in my wall and I was screaming and yelling, you know, just drunk madness, you know? And then uh, in my head, it was like, I'm going to tweet at this person and I'm going to text this person and then I'm going to call this person, you know what I mean? I'm going to blow this up and just I became real vindictive, you know what I mean? And uh, thank God I went to bed. And I went to bed, I woke up the next morning, my hands were all bloody from hitting the wall and stuff. And I woke up and I saw the broken glass and I saw the holes in the wall and I was just like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't let this eat at me anymore. Uh, that's when I tweeted it out. Cause like, I don't know if I can do this anymore. So it's like, well, at the end of the year, if something crazy doesn't happen, I'm done. And when I said something crazy, everyone knows what that meant. Um, like getting a contract somewhere, making good money. And uh, I didn't want to say contract because it felt like it was, I was begging, you know? So I put that out there and, and, and I was dead set on it, you know? Um, I have someone living with me in my house and uh, I told them, hey man, uh, by December start looking for a new place, you know? Because I looked up places in Oregon to live, uh, Alaska, I looked up a couple places because I've always done construction. When I wasn't wrestling, I was doing construction. So. I was like, oh, I'll just get my welder's license again. I'll go back to ironworking in New York, save enough money, and then just move to the middle of nowhere. Like, I was actually on Google. I was gonna get rid of my phone, had this all planned out already. My mother and father were gonna have my number and my brother, and then that's it. So, you know, and my family's like, hey, whatever you wanna do, as long as you're safe and, you know, they'll support me, you know? So then my brother uh, had his kid. Uh, again, with wrestling, you're busy, so I didn't get a chance to meet the kid yet, my nephew. So about my nephew was about seven months old and I remember my brother goes, hey, meet your nephew. So I meet him and I'm looking at him in his eyes and I'm just like, oh my God, he's, he's one of us. You know, he, he's, he's uh, my last name, my real last name is Moore. So to me, I looked at him, I was like, oh my God, this is a baby boy, this is a Moore. Like I can see it in his eyes, it's a Moore. And I, I got choked up, like I said, I'm an emotional person. I got choked up and I was like, mom, take the kid, take the kid, you know what I mean? Get him away from me. Then my brother goes to me, he goes, hey man, I need you to help me, you know, I need you to help me raise my son to be, you know, show him how to be a man a little bit. And I'm like, yeah, of course, you know, it's my nephew, of course. He goes, so, but then he goes, check this out, this is how he got me. He goes, awesome, man, like, we, I can tell my son, your nephew, that if you work hard and you never quit, you can, you can get whatever you want. I said, yeah, yeah, you can definitely tell him that. He goes, well, how can I tell him that when his uncle quit? I said, wow. He said, all right, man, enjoy that six hour car drive home from Buffalo back to Yonkers, New York. You know what I mean? Before I go back to Florida. And just, you know, it weighed on me and I didn't know what to do. And then um, it was like network special. And then a bunch of other things started happening. Then my brother told me what he told me. So things started like lining up. And then uh, I just announced it on, uh, on an interview on High Spots with Ethan Page. And I was just like, look, man, I'm here now. That's it. No more retirement talk. 
I'm just gonna keep going till the wheels fall off, until people stop booking me. You know what I mean? Um, and the little bit of an ego that I do have, I I don't think anyone's better than me. I, I felt like that for 17 years, and maybe I wasn't right for all 17, but shit, I feel like I'm right for the, at least the last four. You know, it'd be, like I said, it'd be 18 in October. I feel like last five years, no one can touch me. You know, like I don't do a lot of crazy things, but I tell great stories. You know what I mean? And 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 I fight. I'm not like, I put so much pressure on myself to get that contract, but now knowing that, okay, I'm here and I'm here to the end, you know what I mean? There's no more pressure, you know? So I, I come to Evolve, I come to Progress, I come uh, AIW, AAW, whatever, all these other places I work, WXW, like it doesn't, I'm just having fun now, you know what I mean? There's no more pressure. Uh, is there still a want for something? Yeah, of course. Like, I want to kind of feel like, the 17 years wasn't a waste. You know what I mean? Like, and I know I can, I can whatever, we'll speak frankly about it. I know I can go on NXT and, and, and do something. You know, I know I can. I know I can go to AEW and do something. I know I can go NWA, I can go whatever other impact. I already proved it with impact when they brought me back. I know I can. And, and, and everyone's like, oh, you're a great promo. Yeah, that's fine. That's cool. Like, I can also do it in the ring. And I've been doing it in the ring and I've been showing it. And places like Evolve have let me do it. And over the years, all the promotions I ever worked for let me do it, you know? So that's the confidence I have in myself, you know? I may not have the best body, you know, which is it's a hard thing. I like to eat, you know what I mean? I'll lift weights all day and then I'll have a burrito later, right after, you know? But I know I can do it, you know what I mean? All I need, uh, all I need is an opportunity. Inside, I know for a fact, you give me an opportunity, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deliver. And if I don't deliver, then fire me, and then, but at least I know I, I, got a I got a real hard chance, you know what I mean, and that's it. But that's just the way I look at it. So I'm here to the wheels fold off, folks, you know? So those who don't like me too bad, you're going to have to see me do, people who do like me, you know, I'm around for you, <laughs> you know, that's it, man. And it's all because of my nephew, Evan, and my brother, Eric. So thank them or yell at them. <laughs> That's it.